This is one of the stations that will soon be all over the city. So if you like biking, you may be interested in this. No hay mejor manera de recibir la primavera que venir al show de flores de Macy's. Puede venir, ver las flores y de pronto hacer unas compras. Para NYU Tonight, Melissa Hernández. In less than a month, these undocumented students will be coming together here at Union Square Park, hoping for an immigration reform that could change their future. Y con tantas opciones, los camiones de comida se han vuelto parte de la cultura de Nueva York. Podemos encontrar desde comida coreana hasta mexicana. Entonces no lo piense tanto, recuerde que no solamente hay que tener la barriga llena y el corazón contento, sino el bolsillo también. Para NYU Tonight, Melissa Hernández. Although NYU is ranked high up next to Ivy League schools, many of their students end up paying higher loans than they would if they went to a different school of the same academic level. Y si usted está pensando en sus metas para el año que viene, piense también en su salud. Aquí le tengo unos buenos consejos para comer saludable y mantenerse en forma. So now that you know how to ride safely, go for it. For NYU Tonight, Melissa Hernandez. Young and documented immigrants recently shared their experiences with the NYU community. Deferred Action, DREAM Act, and Obama's promised immigration reform were on the agenda. Somebody mentioned uh, one of those speakers that, you know, it's a story of an undocumented person, but each story is different, you know, everyone's original. Most of my friends are undocumented, which I didn't know until we went to college, and I was like, you're not going to college? They're like, no, but then it came out that they are undocumented, and that's why, so I found passion for it, so I tried to find a ways to help them out. Deferred action opened doors for young immigrants, yet the lack of educational opportunities continues to be an issue and the DREAM Act is still not included in the budget of the state of New York. Um, well, March is the National Coming Out of the Shadows Month, uh, where we're going to have undocumented youth and allies sharing their stories about why they're involved in the movement, why they're deciding to come out. Uh, we wanted to have this, these events to create solidarity um, and allow us to come together as a community. So, we, And we're also hoping that all these you know, moments of advocacy can help us pass the new DREAM Act and that it will um, be an example for other states to also provide some type of relief for undocumented youth. But these dreamers worry about their parents too and wish for an immigration reform that will also help them. Ideally, it's something that you know provides a pathway to citizenship for everyone, not just streamers. You know, our parents too. My mom, she's been here longer than I have, and she, she's been like, she hasn't been able to see her parents in years because she can't go to Mexico without the fear of not being able to come back. For now, the only thing to do is to hope that under Obama's administration, it will happen soon. For NYU Tonight, Melissa Hernandez. It seems like New York City finally got the hint. And like in Paris, Barcelona, Shanghai, or any other big city in the world, New Yorkers will now have a bike share program starting on May. Here's how it works. So New York City bike share is intended for really short trips from getting to, from point A to point B. Um, it's an additional choice on our menu of transportation choices that we have in New York City. So bike share just makes it even more convenient to take a bike and ride to where you need to get to go. The best part? Anyone can use it, just by paying an annual or weekly membership, or even a daily pass. There will be stations all over the city, so you can ride your bike anywhere. The nice thing about a bike share membership is that it's about a tenth the cost of a subway ride. So an annual pass with a bike share system with City Bike will be about $100 for the entire year. And then as long as you're taking a half hour trip or less, it's free to use the system after that. So it's actually much cheaper than the subway. So forget about the fears, I don't think I'd use it, I'd probably kill myself. And listen to these rules to keep safe. Anything you can do just to, again, increase that visibility, whether it's using your hand signals, doing all those funky things you learned in driver's ed, um, wearing, wearing lights, um, and generally just being predictable in your patterns of your path. Uh, that's going to help, help you the best in being a safe rider. Don't weave in between cars, save the slalom for the slopes, you're just like any other vehicle and if you act like that then you'll be completely fine. So what do you think now? I would definitely try it. I mean riding a bike you know get some exercise it'll be different. Yeah I try it you know it's a different way of getting around it works in the Netherlands why not? Great. So now that you know how to ride safely go for it. 
for NYU Tonight, Melissa Hernandez. Food trucks have become a popular option on the streets of New York City. For tourists and locals, it has also become a way to have a bite of almost any kind of food around the world. Nena Sierra and Viviana Luis are the two entrepreneurs who materialized the idea of a Colombian food truck. But there is more behind it than just food. We started in summer 2011 uh, with a friend. She came up with the idea, I want to have a truck with a repa, ta -da -da. so I was, okay, let's do it, let's do it together. So we started, uh, we buy the truck, we get the permit, we start, we open on September, and it's been very, very nice, very yeah, really successful. Nice. Wow. <laughs> Their main dish are arepas, a traditional Colombian corn made tortilla to which you can add any ingredients. Among them, Palenque offers vegetarian and organic options. Well, with the, as, as we start with the concept of being healthy and being like organic and being like, we, we wanted to show people that we can give to, to their tummies a very, a very nice product and also to change like the image of Colombia. So if you think about Colombia, you think about drugs. You think about coffee. So we want to try to make a, a difference in something nice and good for you. With the help of their cook, Armando, and a few other staff members, Palenque has now successfully been on the streets of New York City for a year, providing delicious bites to anyone who wishes to try something new. <laughs> 